This is hazelnut. Some variety of hazelnut. I'm not sure which, but that's what it is. <clears throat> they have like a green husk on them when they're before they get ripe. I've actually never seen them ripe because the squirrels get them before I can get to them. I always see them like this. They just grow on these little shrubs. More like little sapling trees is what they look like. That's what the leaf looks like though. I see other trees with similar leaves. But that's it. It's a little, little sapling tree. There's another little bitty one. Got a jet airliner flying overhead somewhere. These are all over. It's getting towards the end of July right now. And uh, I'm hoping I can find some of these before the squirrels get to them. I may actually pick a few just before they get ripe and take them home and see if they'll ripen up. I've heard people say they can you can do that, but we'll see. But man, this woods is loaded with them. Like I said in another video, up until about two years ago, I didn't even notice these. But if you're planning on eating nuts, I mean, I'd much rather eat these than acorns. I mean, hazelnuts, this is the same nut that you buy in the store, you know. I think sometimes they maybe call them filberts or something. I'm not sure. There's a little one. Pretty cool. I saw the A to C bushcraft bushcraft guy he was saying they use <clears throat> hazel for making tools and stuff but he's over in Europe somewhere and I don't know if uh, I don't know if it's the same hazel that we're that he's talking about that we are a lot of times the common names get mixed up but I would think hazel would be an exception, but you never know. Well, that's that. <clears throat> wow, this is interesting. I was driving down the side of the road and uh, spotted what I thought are some day lilies. Actually, I'm almost 100% certain these are day lilies, but. Daylilies, the common daylily that you can eat. Every time I've seen them, and what I see in books says they have six petals. And these have more than six. This one's got seven. This one here has like 10 or 11. One over there has like 15 petals on it, and it's pretty strange. I mean, I'm pretty sure these are the common edible daylily. And if they were, you could eat these buds raw or cook them or whatever. You can eat the flowers, but you got to make sure you got the common daylily. And uh, these match it, except they have too many petals from what I'm used to seeing. So even though I'm almost 100% sure these are the edible daylily, I'm not going to mess with them. 
they might be some ornamental domestic uh, lily that escaped and just started growing here so I guess that's a good point you know even though something almost looks like what you want if it doesn't match up a hundred percent I wouldn't fool with it I mean around here in Michigan we can uh, we find these daylilies growing all over the place so it's not that big of a deal if I don't uh, pick these ones I know another spot where I can get some but the daylily is a good plant to remember uh, the little tuber tuber like roots I don't know what the correct term is but they're edible at certain times the green leafy shoots are edible at certain times like when in the spring when they're still young and uh, the only part I've eaten though is these unopened flower buds and they're actually really good I mean they're really good raw you just pick them off and and munch them and they're uh, uh, one guy said he thought they were similar to a, a green bean and they kind of are in flavor but they're a little sweeter and they're a little uh, softer a little less crunchy than a green bean would be but that's it I'm not gonna mess with these even though I'm almost certain that's what they are Better safe than sorry.